this is Julie with Smart QED, and uh, we are going to um, start with today's webinar, Efficient and Scalable Root Cause Analysis with Smart Fishbones. This is a topic very near and dear to our hearts, uh, especially for Terry and me. We have been involved in problem investigations and RCA for um, many years. So let's see. Um, we would like to actually walk uh, through a real complex RCA. Now you can interpret this to mean it's a really complex RCA, which is true, and it's also real life. So both interpretations are true. And that is going to come from the NASA report on the Toyota Unintended Acceleration Investigation. Ron is again going to post this link. It's public, um, publicly available information. Yes, I posted. Okay. Yep. Great. So let me just quickly show you, not to um, uh, dig deep, but uh, there was um, uh, in a few years ago, 2011-2012, uh, an incident with uh, the Toyota cars where they were having unintended acceleration, which is, of course, a very scary thing. So um, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration started an investigation and the NASA uh, team was pulled in and they have, of course, used fishbone diagrams to do their detailed analysis. So here is the report. Um, if you see, they have actually um, done fishbone analysis for uh, for all the so full fishbone diagram and then each of the individual components, throttle, pedal, cruise control, idle speed, etc all in all like nine or ten of these now if you look at the main fishbone it's kind of crazy it's a little uh, scary because it was a very in-depth investigation with about uh, 170 um, something close to 170 courses yeah so as you can see fishbone diagrams are very useful for visual analysis however it does get very complex if you are uh, it can get very complex yeah, and if you're drawing it specially on a board, it is really difficult to keep track. So here are the individual diagrams and you can produce this at your leisure. Then the NASA team actually had uh, analysis on each of these components. They did their analysis and investigations, description and disposition, detection and system level mitigations. And they have numbered these causes, as you can see, 2.1.1.1.1 and uh, basically um, analyzed each and every cause at each and every level to the best of their ability i'm sure yeah and then likewise the same thing was done for the pedal function fishbone multiple teams were involved obviously challenges of rca right we already mentioned rca takes a lot of time and effort so the two main challenges um of you know their efficiency and scalability so when you're analyzing a problem, you have to make op optimal use of time and resources. Sometimes the analysis can go on for a few hours. Sometimes it's a matter of days, sometimes weeks and months. Yeah. So it is important to keep this aspect in mind. We wish we had all the time to do RCA, but it's not possible generally because you have other work going on as well. And scalability comes in as well because you have to handle very complex problems and we saw it can get out of hand pretty quick because the sheer number of aspects and causes and sub causes sub 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 causes are um, pretty can get pretty large and of course uh, you can uh, be dealing with large teams and teams are um, often working in a distributed environment so the difficulties that we have faced include unclear strategy strategy can be unclear for a number of reasons i have just listed one for example let's say we have a new technology and we don't understand you know when a problem happens what are the aspects that we need to look at this happens uh, these days quite often because technology is rapidly evolving and uh, oftentimes you know you don't have the adequate number of experts with adequate knowledge so causes could get overlooked yeah so your rca could be incomplete even uh, though you have given it a best shot this this does happen complex problems many probable causes large virtual teams so here the difficulty is a little bit different so many people could be involved and they could be saying different things doing different things there is typically an rca coordinator 
who facilitates the analysis, especially for large problems. And these coordinators have a, a huge issue on their hands, who's doing what, and to pull it together into a report that itself is a huge exercise. So our solution is we wanted to address these two issues. Can we improve the efficiency and can we improve the scalability challenges in doing an RCA? Right. So for RCA, it has to be methodical, comprehensive, collaborative. We already said that, but it also ideally should be self-learning. So this is the age of AI. It's the digital era. We are undergoing digital transformation and we want our machines to not be dumb anymore, but to learn as we are working in those tools and essentially help us solve problems instead of just being a recording tool like Excel or some sheets or even a drawing tool. So we are not a drawing tool. We are an active system that actually self-learns uh, with AI and ML algorithms. So let's see uh, um, how it works, right? So smart fish bones obviously go beyond the basic capabilities. So we can associate details for each cause in context and we will shortly see a demo. Views are automatically led. This part is important because we saw how easy it is to get lost for um, in-depth analysis. We have integrated false status. You can indicate with colors how, how you found, uh, you know, what is the outcome of one cause. And we also have a templating capability, which is very powerful. You can mix and match templates depending on the components like throttle could have its template and pedal could have its template and depending on um, what you're analyzing you can put in the proper templates and of course last but not the least recommendations are generated by our ml algorithms so imagine the fishbone diagram that has an ml uh, brain attached to it so it's watching what we are doing and trying to see oh they cleared this cause oh they found this symptom and it creates the associations to help us uh, in future. So let's see a quick demo of the NASA Toyota RCA fishbone recreated as a smart fishbone in our tool. The problem of unintended acceleration can be broken down into many causes and sub causes, and each cause can have its own notes, evidence, and actions associated to it. This makes it very easy and efficient to keep track of all the information in the right context. You can view the details by clicking on these small icons to see what was entered by whom and when. You can also see all the details associated to a cause all at once by clicking on the cause details section at the bottom. The problems will typically manifest as errors and anomalies in the system. These symptoms can be gathered up in this right panel called QED clues and they can be associated with any component in your system. You can create details for each clue and using this pin icon you can also associate it with any cause in the fishbone. For example here we have environmental effects on electronics with thermal as a sub cause and if we observe some faulty thermal effects in the system we can create a clue and pin it to this cause. If we change our minds, we can always unpin it. This association allows our ML algorithms to learn from our observations and to make probable cause recommendations for future problems. This root cause analysis was quite in depth and it has six levels of causes and sub causes that were investigated. Now in our smart fish bones, we only show two levels at a time so that we don't get lost in the complexity. Further details are shown as nested fish bones, which are indicated with folder icons and automatically created as you add more levels. You can easily drill down to see further details by clicking on these folder icons and see the next layer and the next if you have created it. Now, this is the bottom most layer of this investigation. To go up, you can click on the up arrow shown on the folder icon on the head. And also, you could click on the links that are shown here. 
If you wish to see the entire set of causes that were investigated, you can click on the cause tree panel here and this shows the full cause hierarchy. For this problem, NASA team actually looked at 170 causes and uh, the entire hierarchy can be seen here. Now let's assume that shaft jam is found to be a contributing factor for our problem. Now we can set the status of this cause to be a contributing cause and the system asks us to add a clue as evidence. In this case I've already attached it so I'm going to skip it and once we have updated it the, the color of this cause changes to red and it propagates all the way to the top clearly indicating which causes were contributing factors. This makes it very easy to know the results of the RCA and this information is also used by our ML engine to make recommendations for probable causes. So that was a very quick overview of uh, our smart fish bones. You can learn more. Uh, you can watch our earlier webinar. Uh, here is the link. Ron is going to post it on chat. You can also go to YouTube and search for smart QED. You can book a detailed one-on-one -on -one demo with us. Um, there are many aspects to the um, fish bone that uh, we didn't cover here, like reporting and uh, others. So let's move on. Now, insights are basically, you know, generated by the ML engine that takes symptoms that you enter and generates probable cause recommendations. Let's see a quick demo on that. Right. So we just saw how to use the investigation maps to solve a problem. Now, turns out. Do we have to go through that whole process every time we come across a problem, especially if it's a, a problem that has happened earlier, so-called a repeating problem? Turns out, no. And that's where QED Insights comes in. All that we really have to do is to enter the clue or the symptom of the problem at hand, something like unable to enter purchase order. And thereafter, all we need to do is click this button here. And at this click of this button, QED Insights, which is our ML-powered algorithm, is going to sift through our database, fish out all the problems of a similar nature that have been solved in the past, and it shows that list out here. And we can compare and we can check out what was similar, what, what the matching clues or symptoms, even the unmatched symptoms are here if you wish. You can take a look. If In this case, of course, there was no unmatched symptoms, so that's that. But, you know, and if you like uh, and if you think that a particular problem is useful, you can use this flag to accept it or you could reject it or you could check further, whatever you wish to do. But, you know, that still leaves us the task of going through all of these problems and figuring out, you know, what caused the problem and how it got solved, etc. Well, it turns out that the ML Power algorithm has gone a step further and it has done that for us already. And the results are displayed in summary here, most likely causes and recommended actions. So if you click here, you get to see that there were seven problems that matched. Four of them had a problem with the database. Three of them had the problem with the user. There was an upgrade issue with the database or a permissions issue with the user, etc. If you wish to know details about the individual problems, you can click here and you will get there for further details. Likewise, uh, as to what needs to be done to solve these problems. These are our recommended actions. Once again, you could look at, take a look at the details. So if it was a database issue, we need to change the configuration. If it was a user issue, maybe some documentation needs to be updated. Again, if you wish to know the details, you can click here. And finally, another thing that our ML algorithm does for us is that it creates what is called as an aggregated fishbone. Uh, which is nothing but, let me enlarge this a bit, which is nothing but a visual summary of the probabilistic distribution of all the underlying causes that have gone to create this problem. Okay, so that was a very quick overview of the ML part, the insights and recommendations, and you can always accept um, the aggregated fishbone to jumpstart your investigation. Right. So let's move on. Uh, the benefits should hopefully be you know, clear by now.
our goals were to make it more efficient and more scalable. So we make it more efficient by enabling clear organization and easy status tracking, especially when you're in large teams. It really helps to see the color coded uh, status. So you don't have to go uh, reading each uh, cause and what was its disposition and description. They're all available in context. It scales easily to complex problems and large teams. The Smart Fishbone is of course collaborative. You can have multiple people up updated at the same time. And last but not the least, it is also uh, acts as a virtual subject matter expert because it's always trying to learn from human work. It understands um, the, the colors and it understands the symptoms and the association of symptoms to causes. So it is actually able to suggest the causes like we saw. So um, Smartfish Bones would um, hopefully make your work faster, easier, and smarter. So we would love to get your feedback on what you think. If you could benefit, your RCA process could benefit from the smart fish bones. Please share your comments on chat.